Now the trees sang a song to me. He said the birds sang it to the breeze. Just in case I was feeling down. And welcome to a sip of inspiration. Oh, excuse me. Greetings and a welcome to a sip of inspiration. My name is Stephanie Wilson Coleman and I am your host for tonight's show. Tonight we are going to discuss the practical guide to spiritual prosperity. So I have nicknamed this table tonight as the Prosperity Roundtable. I often say, and as you all have heard, it takes a village to raise a child. Well, tonight I brought my village with me. So I want you to know that there's never any shortage of need for a village in this lifetime. I'm going to introduce the round table. Some of, you, some of them you all have seen before, and some of them are brand new to you. So for those of you listening for the first time, yes, I do need a lot of help to stay on the path. And I'm not shy. I will ask for it. Also, we are attempting something very different tonight. We have an in-studio audience, and I am incredibly excited. People who have agreed to show up on television and ask questions and have their names attached to the questions, and we'll do our very best to answer those questions. As you all know, this is a live call-in show. The number will appear at the bottom, and the number is 312-738-1845. Please, we are here to tackle all of your questions, so don't be shy. Now, as usual, I've bought some little notes with me so I don't forget anything, any important things that I think you need to know about my guests. I'm going to start with Reverend Gwendo Tate, known as <coughs> Dr. Rise. Yes. So, I think that is so cool. Thank and you. RISE stands for Realizing Infinite Spirit right. in, in Everyone. Yes. Now, Dr. RISE, or Reverend Gwendol Tate, is a minister, motivational speaker, corporate trainer, educational and youth advocate. He's a consultant, a poet, and an entrepreneur. And in his spare time, he also <laughs> advises me. <laughs> he is the founder minister of the Rise Ministries, which is located in Dalton, Illinois, which focuses on the power of God as the mighty I Am presence. He is also the president of Dr. Rise Motivation and Education, Inc. He specializes as a motivation and educational empowerment specialist. He empowers people to rise in awareness, attitude, and action. You all have seen him before, and I want to thank you for coming back again. Certainly my pleasure to be here this evening. Mm -hmm. Certainly. Next is new to a sip of inspiration, but not new to me, okay? <laughs> she has guided me for more years than she knows. <laughs> I want to welcome and introduce <laughs> the Reverend Evelyn Boyd. Told you it takes a village. Dr. Boyd, for the past three decades, has facilitated thousands in their pursuit of a better life by presenting classes, workshops, and seminars, leading them toward creating, developing, and organizing their fragmented internal thoughts to produce the external results that they prefer. She always says, as within, so without. This is something that I've learned just recently. In 2010, she was inducted into the Eta Phi Beta Hall of Fame. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. She yes. has yes. been yes. advising me <laughs> for years. She has been guiding me even when she didn't know she was guiding me. <laughs> so thank you for joining me. <laughs> now, as I said, there's a village, so there are more to come, okay? And there are some that are not even here tonight. Joining me on my right is Bishop Carlton Pearson. Now, he has an interesting story. He's a spiritual leader, a recording artist, and as a recording artist, I just discovered today that he sold over 750,000 CDs and videos. That's pretty cool. Mm, He's an author of two really books, cool. The Gospel mm. of Inclusion, and one, God is not a Christu Christian, Hindu, or Jew, Jew or Muslim. Or Muslim. With the release of his books, he's quickly become known as the voice of reason in a world of religious extremes. He considers himself a liberal conservative. And on his mm. remarkable views, they range anywhere from the Iraq war to gay marriage. He is often able to inspire a genuine spiritual conversation for all who will hear him speak. Thank you for joining me. Thank He's you. been with me on radio, so this is pretty cool <laughs> to have you here, too. So. Thank you. And on the phone joining me is a very special guest, who is Dr. Will Coleman. And we're going to do something pretty cool. We're going to try to put a split screen up so you can see what he looks like and look at me, too. Or if you don't, you just get to look at him. But it'll <laughs> be okay, because he's pretty cool. He's going to be on the conversation for the first 15 minutes. He's, he's actually calling in from Atlanta, Georgia. 
Will Coleman, Ph.D., or Dr. Coleman, is a theologian and a teacher of biblical spirituality. He has a doctorate in philosophy, de philosophy degree with distinction <coughs> from the Graduate Theological Union in Berkeley, California. He teaches, tutors, individuals, and groups in a variety of contexts in the areas of theology, biblical spiri spirituality in English, Hebrew, and Greek. And we lost him for just a second, but we promise we will get him back. Yes. Now that I've done the introductions, we can put this away, and you all can join me in my new set around the kitchen table where all decisions are actually made. So that's why we have a table here that looks like a kitchen table. <laughs> I mean, we pay bills idea. around the kitchen table. We yes, discuss we problems. We eat. We do everything mm -hmm. around the kitchen table. So the kitchen is the most important place in the house. Yes, it is. So, right. uh, so we have Dr. Coleman back on the phone. So the question for tonight is, and the question that I get asked all the time is, I've prayed, now what? What mm -hmm. can you do to turn your <laughs> life around when your back is against the wall. There are, no, there, there are no jobs, there's no money coming in. You can't see prosperity. So you, it's like the saying, you got too much month at the end of your money. So what do people do next? <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Well, um, shall we just start? Yes, just start. <clears throat> my favorite scripture, and it's been mine for the last 40 years, Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper, be in health, even as your soul prospers. The best way to make your dreams come true is to wake up. So if somebody mm -hmm. says, I prayed, now what? Get up and begin to apply what in consciousness you sent into the universe when you prayed. God instantly responds, the universe instantly responds, and so you start changing your thinking, and your thinking, that's the way we like, that ain't that what you told us, no. That's right. <laughs> you change in our, our thinking, then we begin to, it begins to manifest in our lives. I did that as a kid. Okay, yeah. now, you said something key. The answer comes instantly. Why don't we believe that? Well, the response comes in instantly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one thing uh, Reverend Boyd probably doesn't remember that she said one day, and behind the pulpit, she said, have to have some faith. And people says, well, how do you get faith? And she said, well, when you go to the bus stop, you know the bus is going to come, right? Yeah. yeah. How do you know the bus is going to come? Because you've been going to the bus stop and it's always come. That's and true. she said, well, faith is a little bit like that. Start. Thank you very much. I just got word from the studio that uh, Dr. Coleman is back, that you have to exercise the faith. So now that you've received it, just what do you do? How do you know you got it? Hi, Dr. Will Coleman. We've already introduced you, and thank you for joining us. We're going to attempt to put a split screen up so that everyone can see you and see us at the same time. And we were just addressing the question, now that you've prayed, what? Yeah. So how do, you know when, how do you know you've got the answer? Well, uh, let me say this. Um, there's a great teacher whose name is Neville. Neville says, assume. I know you've heard this thing, never assume. But actually, <laughs> you should always assume. Sure. And uh, an assumption is simply a thought or a feeling that it is so, even though it is not yet manifest in your world. That's another definition for faith. Just assume that it is so. And begin to feel like it is so. And begin to act out of that feeling. It is the feeling that grounds you into what you really believe. So if you have a deep abiding feeling that it is so, then things will come to your mind that relate or reverberate around that feeling. And then you begin to act on them. Don't judge them. Just let them come in one by one and act upon them. And they will expand until they lead you to where you need okay. to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dr. Boyd? There's an African proverb that says, while you pray, move your feet. Mm. That's okay. right. That's right. There is direction that comes to you, but you must do what you are instructed to do. Mm -hmm. And many times we don't want to do anything. We want it to be done for, for us. us. Yes. Yeah, just disconnected in. Okay. I think we've got Dr. Coleman again. Thank you. Uh, we're going to work this out. Dr. Coleman, we've just been addressing, uh, okay. Yawny, yawny wind. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to keep it rolling. We're going to make this work. Maybe we should pray. That's right. <laughs> uh, then what? That's yeah. right. <laughs> use another phone. That's uh, right. That's right. And then use another phone. That's right. Okay, so you've prayed and you, you assume that the prayer has been answered. Yeah. Are there instances where prayers are not answered? Well, you assume no. that the prayer has been heard. Has yes. been heard. Yes. Okay. Mm, I don't think there's ever a prayer that is not answered. Yeah. 
I don't think that the universal creator can say no. Okay. Mm -hmm. We practice the presence, the presence that is evenly present everywhere. everywhere. Mm -hmm. So how can it say no? Air is evenly present everywhere. Okay. It cannot deny you a breath. Right, right, right. So there is not a no in your deity. The no is in your attitude. Yes, the it no is, no yes, is, it is. Okay. in your belief system. The right. no is in the way you think and feel about yourself. Do yeah. you think you deserve to have what you are asking for? Yeah, there's an old adage that says the call compels the answer. So the moment that you call something higher than you is compelled to positively respond to you. But you must believe that and then you must act out of that belief. It does not, the, the, the proof of the pudding is, pudding is really in the acting on it. It's not so much you gotta smell it or see it or touch it. Just act as if it is so and it will cause things to begin to happen in your world. And it's exactly mm -hmm. what you're saying. Action takes place and it reverberates like a, like a pebble thrown into um, water. The concentric circles begin to move. Stuff happens when you assume and work. If you're hungry, can't pay your bills, no money in the bank, yeah. cupboards are empty, this sounds like nothing. Right. So I've been there. <laughs> I, I think we've all been there. We've all been there. That's right. I've been there. So we're not yes, just yes. throwing out platitudes. We, right. have, we right. have applied these principles and they work. Yes, they do. You can't teach what you don't know. You can't teach what you, you don't go. I know, I know what it is to visualize because thoughts are powerful. They're inventive. They're creative. Mm -hmm. when, you th when you think as a person thinks in his or her heart, so are they. So mm -hmm. If you think yourself to be a victim, you are then a victim. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people with a lot of money, but in consciousness, they're impoverished. Mm -hmm. So everything is consciousness. Yes, it yes. is. Yes, everything it is. is thought. So as mm -hmm. you begin to hear us discuss this, that's why we're on here, mm -hmm. people begin to rethink. Perception is the ultimate reality, but not necessarily the ultimate truth. When you change, as Wayne Dyer says, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Yes, yes they do. The only reason anybody asks for prosperity is because they know inwardly that they are they prosperous. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a, it's a yeah. certain sense of, of divine entitlement. You know you're not supposed to be lacking. That's why the psalmist said, yeah. the, uh, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, what? meaning I will not lack. I'll not be denied. I'll not be din diminished. Mm -hmm. it's, it is a conscious verbal, ver verbalization. Yes, it is. And then yes, it becomes it a realization. Mm -hmm. So, if the cupboards are bare, mm -hmm. and I don't have any money coming in, mm -hmm. how do I change that? Okay, so now I'm going to think mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. And I know people are looking at, looking at the show saying, you're right, that works. It actually does work. It does. Okay? Mm -hmm. it does. But what's the process that they should take to start to think about a better okay. life? Let me give a, a, a quick live example of myself. Coming from um, one city to the next, I have done something in one where all I ended up with at O'Hara Airport was about $10 and something. So I'm walking along the corridors and I had this thought. I said, this is not going to get me home. It costs about $50 to get home. It's not going to get me home. What am I going to do? So I decided that whoever I'd see, I'd give it to them. And there was a gentleman lying on a bench, sort of, you would call him a bum, I suppose, but he's God's child. Woke him up, gave it to him. He opened his hand. I placed the $10 and something in his hand. He thanked me. I walked away. I took about five steps and I heard my name called. Some friend said, Beautiful. Gwendol, Beautiful. the moment he said that, I turned around. He said, where are you going? I said, wherever you're <laughs> taking me. <laughs> 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 out of this airport. Airport. Honest <laughs> to God, as they say. And he took me directly home. Mm -hmm. And I believe that had I not given up the little, the larger would not have taken place. So Good. it's mm -hmm. really about putting yourself into action and service and giving. And an act of faith forces the universe to act. For you, mm. so do something. Sure, and it doesn't matter the size of it. It just has to be something in which you are indicating. I believe that there's something in me greater than me that provides for me, mm. and it'll make it happen. I heard a preacher say when I was a little kid, and I remember he had a he had a little stuttering habit until he started yeah. preaching. But he said, "The more you give, the more you have to give." And that stuck with me as a kid. Mm. The yeah. more you yeah. give, yeah. Yeah. Right. he's mm -hmm. going to more, 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 more you give, the more, more, more you have to give. <laughs> and we, we, we kids start making fun yeah. of it. Yeah. But 
it stuck to my soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you, you just demonstrated that. Yes. Mm -hmm. The more yes. you give, we believe in the, in the concept. I grew mm -hmm. up under Oral Roberts, so we talked about mm -hmm. seed faith. Mm -hmm. right. You take the right. seed and you sow it. And that's what and, that was. And it it? That's what you did. Yes. 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 You sow yes. it out of your own need. Because yes. every seed reproduces after its own kind. kind. Yes. It Same does. with thoughts. Yes. yes. It does. Yes. You know, now, I did something a little more practical. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got a job. Okay. <laughs> no, I actually kept a tie journal. Okay. A tithe? A tithe, tithe journal. journal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I heard that I couldn't beat God given. Mm -hmm. That's right. No and the more you, you, no matter how hard you try, right? I don't sing, so we're not going to start That's here, right? Okay. Right. And so I decided that I would actually track that, okay? Because, mm -hmm. see, I, you know, I'm not as yeah, I'm not as spiritual as you all are. You know, I need scientific no, proof, right? Put it to the test. I put it to the sure. test. But right. You do. That's right. Right. Test yeah. me, see when I prove. Right. Prove yeah. me now. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I would write down the amount of money I received mm -hmm. and how much I gave. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. tenth. I, I mean, no matter what it was, it got to the point that mm -hmm. money was coming in so fast yeah. that yeah. I did not have the time to write it down in a journal. Yeah. And uh, I would say, yeah, you know what, God?